What is going on, Ace Army? It is JV, and welcome back to another video. Today is Universe Mode episode number 65, but it is Friday Night Smackdown on a Saturday. Let's get this going. I hope this episode goes well. I hope all of you are having a wonderful day as well. And we got three matches for you guys, and they should be good. But the fireworks are going off, and that means the show is about to start. And guys, if you didn't know, we are on the road to 300 subscribers here on YouTube. We are at 227 at the moment, so we are almost there. But we are in Mexico City, Mexico for SmackDown today. And also, we are on the road to 2K23. You guys are seeing this on February 18th, so we are like 30 days away from release day, around there, like a month or so. But up first, Dakota Kai taking on Charlotte. Simulate, boom. Charlotte Flair gets the win. Brian versus Woods. Brian gets the win. But up first, we have the visionary Seth freaking Rollins taking on the Harper Kid in a one on one normal match. And Triple H, Shawn Michaels' best friend, is in his corner. And also, tomorrow is Sunday, everybody. If you're watching this, when it goes up, so tomorrow is February 19th. In a week from the 19th of February is the Royal Rumble pay per view. And. I can't wait for that. That's going to be absolutely a blast to record and like for you guys to see. And also, if you want to be early to any universe mode video, make sure to follow the Twitch link in the description. I got a bunch of fun stuff planned for 2K23, so you don't want to miss any of the early videos. But if you want to wait till it goes up on YouTube and like do it that way, that's totally fine. I won't judge. Because I or I appreciate all you guys, no matter what platform you're on. Speaking of social media platforms, I just recently made a new TikTok, um, like two days ago. I'm gonna be making a YouTube short. You guys will probably see it after this goes up sometime. Covering like the count, so you guys can follow it, and I'll be putting videos up there covering my universe mode episodes, pay-per-view predictions. Pretty much all my YouTube stuff moving over there and maybe some shorts, no pun intended, but we'll see how it goes down because unfortunately we got banned at like 13,000 followers, but here we go. This match is about to start and it is time. All right, I'm going to skip Shawn Michaels' entrance because DX in this game doesn't have their motion in Trons. But we'll see Seth Rollins' is for a little bit. What a great theme song. I wish you guys could hear it. But I can't wait for 2K23 when it shows the fire and the crowd sings along. It's going to be so hype. Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! All right, Rollins is ready to go. Rollins has had a, I guess, mid-reign in the Universe Mode series as a superstar. He fought um, Walter like in Episode 2 of Universe Mode for the World Heavyweight Championship, but we know Walter became the World Heavyweight Champion that episode. So, Rollins came up short, but then earlier on in the series, Rollins had a feud with the phenomenal one, AJ Styles, but he also came up short in that. So he's trying to get himself on track ever since like the beginning of Universe Mode. He's trying to capture the World Heavyweight title eventually, but look at this now, Suplex, beautiful by Rollins. And next week on SmackDown, we have two number one contender matches for the world title and the SmackDown Women's title. We know Rhea Ripley is defending her title later tonight in a open challenge match against Candice LeRae. So, if Rhea loses, that's gonna be nuts. But look at Rollins, oh, Michaels rolls out of the way just at the last second. Seth Rollins taking it to uh, Shawn Michaels here. Shawn is in trouble. Oh, just as soon as I think, oh, as soon as I say that, Rollins gets reversed, but look at, oh, Michaels, 
Just kicked twice into the leg. And now Irish whips. Michaels. Oh, and now a knee right to the gut and again. Oh, my God, Rollins. Chill out. And now finishing it off with a Russian leg sweep right in the center of the ring. Rollins was looking for a pedigree. I know Triple H was looking at that very closely to see how effective that Shawn Michaels' opponent could use it. But Michaels up top. You know what this means? Diving elbow. No. Diving elbow drop gets countered. Rollins gets Michaels up. Rollins kicks to the gut. Carb stomp right to the skull of Michaels. Oh, Seth, Seth did not get any count because Triple H was interfering. What does that mean? Does DX turn heal? What is going on? But look at this. Rollins is in the corner. Triple H is messing with the ref again while Rollins is looking for black magic. Oh, down to one knee. Oh, black magic from Rollins. And Rollins again. Looking for a second curb stomp to the heartbreak kid. Shawn Michaels, the Hall of Famer, eats the boot to the face. Triple H is pissed off in the corner of the screen there. And the two, the three, Seth Rollins gets the win in your first match of Universe Mode, episode number 65. Big win for Rollins. Next week, he will be fighting in the eight-man battle royal to determine the number one contender for the world title at Royal Rumble. So... You guys, you don't want to miss that. And look at the respect between these two. Oh, they shake hands. That's nice to see. Beautiful sportsmanship between one Hall of Famer and one future Hall of Famer here on SmackDown. All right, what do we got up next? Up next, I talked about this match, I believe, last week. We have two of NXT's hottest stars in real life. But in universe mode, we have Braun Breaker taking on Carmelo Hayes. I cannot wait till these guys are in the base game for 23. It's going to be so much fun to use them. I can't wait to use Breaker. I need to start getting into NXT in real life, to be honest with you guys, because there's so many like future stars um, that are going to be good on the main roster, like Breaker, Hayes. I saw Toxic Attraction broke up. I saw... I don't know if I, it was a dream or not, but I saw Mandy Rose might come back. I doubt that's the case, but we'll see. And Hayes is going to be in the game in 23. Braun Breaker, who else for NXT? Grayson Waller. I have never watched his matches, so I really don't know much about him. I saw his entrance. That's about it. But these guys will be drafted in the 2K23 draft, hopefully, which happens March 16th around... 10 30 11 p.m eastern standard time that's going to be live on youtube and twitch but for um the youtube gang if you want to watch it on there it will go up that or we'll probably do a saturday or a friday upload because once we're done with wrestlemania this series has ended so we are almost a month away from ending the series because 2k23 will be starting soon so here we go with our mid-card match and Braun Breaker is going to come out first he is Rick Steiner's son the son of one half of the Steiner brothers and they are in the Hall of Fame so he has that Hall of Fame blood in his genes but here we go Braun Breaker the following contest is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring from Atlanta Georgia weighing in at 265 pounds Brown Braden. Going back to the draft topic, um, John Apocalypse, my best friend for Universe Mode, my favorite streamer right now, that we are drafting together. So you guys don't want to miss that. And his opponent from Worcester, Massachusetts, weighing in at 205 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. Uh. I cannot wait to use the Cody again, or use Cody again in a WWE game. We haven't used Cody Rhodes since 2K15, and if you count Stardust, we haven't used him since 2K17. But here we go. Breaker and Hayes are going at it here. Two future stars in the business, and they are in the it, they are in the mid card division. But look at this delayed vertical suplex, suplex now from Braun Breaker. I apologize for messing up my words. It is 8:30 in the morning on a weekend, and I don't know why I'm up. My body just woke me up at this time so but all right and i work later today so 
There we go. Breaker's going up. High. Diving elbow drop. Just like the Hall of Famer Macho Man Randy Savage used to do to put his opponents away. But will he put his away? No. Hayes kicks out at two. Breaker can't believe it, to be honest. I, I could believe it. That's not your finisher, bud. All right. Kick to the back. Oh. Overhand chop. Springboard. Crossbody. Beautiful maneuver there. Now trying to break the hand of Braun Breaker by stomping on it. And he stomps on it three times here in Mexico City, Mexico. And speaking of elbow drops, look at these. Two elbow drops right to Braun Breaker's chest. And he's going to do two more, it looks like. Yep, two more. Two more standing elbow drops from Hayes. Oh, that was a sick um, running to the top rope animation. Top rope leg drop from Hayes. And we know next Sunday at Royal Rumble, LA Knight, yeah, is taking on the longest reigning universe mode champion in 2K22, Cameron Grimes, for the Intercontinental Championship belt. That is going to be a stack match. LA Knight has proved himself to be in that match, I'm not going to lie, because he has um, beat Walter. He was the one that won it for Team SmackDown at Survivor Series. It's just been nuts. And look at this Frankensteiner off the top rope from Braun Breaker. Oh. Springboard action. Springboard crossbody. Breaker rolls out of the way. Or moves out of the way. And now has him picked up. Drops him right onto the turnbuckle pad. Oh my god. How is he not busted open yet? And now Braun Breaker was looking for the finishing maneuver. But Hayes rolls out from underneath him. And oh. Look at the elbows to the side of the head now. Oh, big left hand. Big left hand again. Irish whips him onto the apron. And now he wants him to get back in the ring with some strength. Oh, my God. Batted his head right down, so Hayes fell to the mat. And now the pin from Braun Breaker, and it's a rope break. The ref calls it off. And now Breaker showboating right in front of the Mexico City crowd here in universe mode episode 65 and now Hayes taking control in the corner Hayes look at this springboard clothesline oh my god what a maneuver from Carmelo Hayes and now he's going high risk dive an elbow drop a lot of elbow drops in this match and now the pin one only a one count breaker kicks out that is the beast he is okay what is going on I didn't even notice you joined. My bad. I was focused. The Braun car looks just like his 23 model. Yeah. I downloaded this like right when the game came out too. Or the 22 came out. Not 23. Top rope. Leg drop. Right to the skull. And that stuns Breaker. One. Two. Ooh. Carmelo Hayes almost got him. But no. Kick out of two and a half. Carmelo Hayes is kind of eh. To be honest. He is harder to make. Yeah. True. But at least we have them in game for 23, am I right? Top rope, leg drop once again. Two back to back. That has to be it. Hayes. One, two, three. He gets the one here in our second match of the evening. And if you guys don't know who Akial is, you should. He is one of the best or the most loyal supporters. One of my favorite people to see in any episode of any video he's just that guy he does so much good work um supporting me like, i hope he does some content creating soon that i can see but up next we have the main event which is the smackdown women's championship open challenge it is rhea ripley taking on candace larray cloud dreams is going to love this match <laughs> hopefully he watches this episode All right, who we, I guess Rhea Ripley has to win, right? If Rhea loses her open challenge match before the Royal Rumble next week, what are we going to do? And I hope you guys are enjoying this on a SmackDown or on a Saturday for SmackDown. I'm sorry that I wasn't up yesterday. I apologize. Like I said earlier, it's techno technological issues. Technology just did not want to work in my favor. And we were making it work. <laughs> I 
the Candace render. <laughs> Thought I was gonna have competition. <laughs> All right, here we go. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And here comes the Poison Pixie, Candice LeRae. And unfortunately, she's not in the base game of 2K23, but we will see her later on, I guess. There she is. Cloud Dreams is favorite. One of the, I guess, not dominant, but one of the key factors on the SmackDown Women's Division. She was on Raw back in the beginning of the series. I don't know if any of you watched that long ago. But she was on Raw, got released, and then got signed by SmackDown. So a great pickup from SmackDown. And Candice yeah. LeRae was also part of Team SmackDown this past pay-per-view at Survivor Series. So about that, guys. I had to unplug my mic. But here comes the women's champion here on SmackDown. Her name is Rhea Ripley, and there she is. Rhea freaking Ripley. I love the character change she bought as a Poison Pixie. If she did in the main roster, by going as Candy themed character to a bit poisonous heel. Obviously, right now she's a baby face, so this. Eventually. But we'll see. I think that's what they need to do. Alright, main event time. I saw the stream was bugging out. Hopefully it didn't, doesn't bug out the rest of the match. Introducing the challenger from Anaheim, California, Candice LeRae. And introducing the champion from Adelaide, Australia, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. Newton Felix, what is up? Nice to meet you. I don't believe I've seen you. We are on our final match pre-recording SmackDown because this is going on YouTube later. I'll put my channel link in the description if you want to check it out. Or the comment section, whatever. I don't have commands yet. <laughs> I will. I don't think... Can you do commands non-affiliate or do you need to be affiliate? I'll have to set all this up soon. Well, Candice LeRae already taken it to the champion. Wow. Oh, then I'll do it soon. All right, now Rhea Ripley's kicking ass. She's trying to make um make Candace tap. But well, welcome in, Newton Felix. How are you doing? I hope you're well. You just need Nightbot or Stream Elements. You don't need affiliate. Okay, I'll figure it out. Did I miss a Canadian destroyer? I was looking at the chat. I think I did. Oh well. Candace Lorray kicked to the chest of Rhea Ripley. She's on high risk now. Telling Rhea to get her ass up. Top rope. Drop. Drop. Nope. Wow. It is quite underrated, but when she misses the top rope attacks, it's pretty bad. Look at her, taking it to the champ. This is the woman champion that beat the Queen Charlotte Flair. Cubert, what is up? We're getting a lot of new people in right now. What is up? I hate that this is the main event. I mean, I could always just stream after this. Oh, well. I am good. I am on my last match of the stream, unfortunately. But if you want to check me out, or like anywhere else, you can subscribe to the YouTube. I can send the link to the chat once again, or my mod Akio can do it for you. In real life, she hits those lions hard and poison her on as 
Wicked Steps is a great move too. Yeah, she has Wicked or the Wicked Steps is from the game. I believe. I don't know if it's her finisher or her signature though. Subs for the channel. Thank you. We do a bunch of wrestling content, so if you like wrestling, that's your way to go. I appreciate it, Hubert. And now Rhea Ripley kicking the dust in Candice LeRae's face. Oh, it's her signature. What's her finisher then? Oh, God. What a brutal kick to the face. Thanks, Akiel, for putting the link in there. Oh, look at the takedown. Oh, she's looking for the Wicked Step, Sister Akiel. Oh, she got the arms. Bam! Wicked Step, Sister to the face. Uh, the Gargano escape. Gotcha. Dude, Rio might lose. If real, no way. This would be the upset of the century. Oh my god. Oh my god, she didn't tap. I definitely thought she was gonna tap there. Oh, cool. Um, you can send your YouTube link to the chat. Um, I'll subscribe. I'll check it out. But Irish whips Candace all the way outside the ring. Akiao, you know why I think people are tuning in more right now? I think it's because we're actually doing this at 8.40 in the morning for me. And we're not usually doing it towards our 11 a.m. or like 11 p.m. But this is rare that we do episodes this early because I'm usually at school. Can you not? Here. Can you whisper it to me? I don't. It might not send. I don't know. This movie looks brutal, but it's easy. So just to tuck to the chin because it needs to be gentle and not hurt the neck. Yeah. Irish whips Candice LeRae all the way to the other side of the ring. Holy smokes. She's all the way by the barricade now. Roughly breaks up the count. I cannot talk today, clearly. We are at 228 subs. Almost at 230, guys. Hopefully we get to 230 soon. Road to 300. Candice LeRae telling Rhea Ripley to bring it. All right. Rhea gets in. But Candice LeRae. Springboard. Look at this. Oh, my God. That was nasty. I've never seen that move before. Especially in the game. And now slap. Or slamming the neck right into the canvas. Top rope, Larray. Top rope cross body. Oh my god. Candace Larray might win this. Dude, her health is perfect. Imagine the upset this will be. Imagine the upset this will be. Candace Larray has it locked in. Oh my god, real might tap. No shot. Oh my god, she's stunned. No way. Oh my god, she lets. She fights out somehow. Oh my god, this might be it. Oh, it's going to be a rope break. Oh no, it's not. No way. Oh my god. What a kick out. Candace might put this away though. If she gets the wicked step to throw that submission off again, it's over. I am going to flip the hell out if she gets this upset victory. Oh, now it looks like Rhea Ripley's coming back. Hubert, who's your favorite wrestler? On WWE, AEW, whatever you watch, New Japan. Top rope, double axe sandal. Oh god, now Rhea Ripley looking for submissions of her own. I should have just made this a submission match. Oh my god, Rhea Ripley. Trying to make Candice LeRae tap. Oh, Oh, she's staying alive, just like the Bee Gees. Nope. Rhea Ripley does not get the win that easy. Rhea, going from corner to corner. Look at this. The ref got in the way, but a big boot right to the cranium of Candice LeRae. What a reversal. This is the opening. LeRae needs to capture the bout. Oh, rip tide incoming. Bam! And now the pin. One, two, three. Rhea Ripley retains her title. What a match that was. I know Candace Story is going to be pissed that she didn't get the Here title. Is your winner, and still the SmackDown Women's Champion, Rhea Ripley. What a great match we had in the main event, I'm not going to lie. And also, I'm going to send a link to the chat. 
if you guys want to join the Discord, I'm going to send the link to you guys now. Chat it up in the Discord. I'm going to be setting up the Nightbot soon, so. I was going to match how TV title defense should be. Yep. All right, YouTube and Twitch. I will see you guys soon. I hope you all have a great Saturday, if you're watching this on Saturday. But take care. I'll see you soon.